Baidol was transformative for research and for its impact. The translation of science and technology into innovation outcomes that enable economic growth and that enable societal impact, not only in the United States, but ultimately around the world. Bai and Dole figured out that if you were able to incentivize universities to do the research and then give them the patent rights that they could then exploit with other companies and develop those technologies, that was going to be a winner. And they were able to do that late in 1980, and the success speaks for itself. The Bai-Dole Act was really instrumental in getting the public-private partnerships going and helping to bring those really interesting technical discoveries out the door into industry so that we can all access it. It's led to more faculty wanting to get engaged in the commercialization of their research. It gives them a very specific benefit for developing something that's going to be disseminated through the commercial avenues. What it really did was to give universities the flexibility to decide how to commercialize innovation. I like to call it our oxygen. It is everything for us. The role that intellectual properties play in getting our technologies out in the world is they give us something real and tangible that we're able to transfer to a company to make real products and help humankind. The Bayh-Dole Act has impacted research in the most fundamental way. It enabled all the universities in the United States to establish technology transfer offices, to establish processes and policies around intellectual property, and to establish a system where we can transfer technology effectively to industry. Bayh-Dole is really an inspired piece of legislation. It's a signature piece of legislation, and it really created the tech transfer profession as we know it today. Thank you.